cool knives only in this aerodynamic pocket clip. I don't know why this knife exists. I gotta get used to that lock. This might not be the right knife. I'm just gonna stop locking it. See that little dip there? It's a cool knife for a cool dude. Look at the little textured, little, uh, look at the little, uh, tactical grip. Cool. Oh, you just... Buying a knife can be pretty complicated, tricky business. Luckily, I'm not, uh... I'm not here to sell you a knife. I've got one. It's a cool knife. Mm, I take it back. This is a knife. Uh, it's a buck knife. See what I did with that assisted opening? I didn't like that. I was gonna say something about that. And you gotta fucking put a little lock on it. Lock your knife. Can't remember if you locked your knife or not. Uh, my, uh, how am I gonna get in there? <laughs> I locked myself out of my knife. Um, the assisted opening thing, maybe cool if you have like a, a disability or something. Like you're an old dude, you can't flick a knife out. And that's like kind of what like uh, buck knives kind of demographic is, like as an old knife kind of dude. Or you're like a little kid and you think it looks cool. You look like the little army, tactical army grip. See the little uh, tactical little uh, aerodynamic pocket clip. See that little dip there? It makes it uh, more aerodynamic. Pulling it off of you or your utility belt. <laughs> uh, so you're either buying this knife either as like a little kid or an old man and anything in between this might not be the right knife for you. I ended up with it as an accident. Yeah, you don't have to buy it, but you can get it. It's like a cool way to split open like blunts or something, but it's pretty impractical. You don't want to end up like out of touch, like uh, just doing racist Jim Gaffigan impressions with a knife that's not cool looking anymore. See, so luckily I'm a millennial. Hmm. The funny thing is, I'm not a millennial. I was gonna say it's funny because. Uh, I'm a zoomer, so I don't usually fall into these traps like uh, that uh, they set for uh, millennials. That uh, they all play into these uh, little uh, little trap like these uh, internet people, people on the internet. I like to call them internet people, like um, Gavin McInnes. You know these boomers. They're uh, appropriating. Millennials who are appropriating Zoomers culture, me, they're ripping me off. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. This knife. Uh, right, so you don't want to end up like uh, Gavin McInnes, like, or a boomer pretending to be a fucking 14 year old on the internet. Yeah, you don't want to end up with this knife. This will lead you down the wrong path. This is a kind of knife you like. Only like an old dude will accidentally buy this and then they'll never use it. They want you to just open it like a normal person. It's like I accidentally bought one with an assisted opening like a fucking retard. So you either have that. You buy, so you either buy, bought it on accident. You either bought it on accident. I guess, or you're some like fucking, uh, I don't know. This is, this is either, uh, you accidentally bought this or it was, <laughs> you're, you're buying it for a crime to be using it. No, it's expensive. It's, it's a, it's an anomaly. I don't know why this knife exists.
Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll make this a whole podcast. The knife podcast. This is the only one I have, though, so... This will have to be the only episode. Why don't you just open it like a normal fucking person? When you see a knife, how do you open it? What do, what do I do with it? Oh, well, you see, there's a little lock on the back. You have to pop that out. Hold on. Yeah, so, uh, unclip it off of your utility belt. Unhinge the little lock and press the button. Who'd they make this for? You know what I mean? It's not for, like, women, because it's black. It's cool. It looks cool. Look at the little textured, little, uh, look at the little, uh, tactical grip. It's a cool knife for a cool dude. Cool knives only in this, on this podcast. You gotta get used to that lock. I'm just gonna stop locking it. I'm gonna leave my knife unlocked. Don't leave your knife unlocked around your kids. Or if you get your kids a knife, make sure it has a lock on it. When I asked the old dude to get this knife out of the thing for me, uh, it was like separated from all the other ones. I guess it was because it was assisted opening. So, uh, to like decrease the risk of accidentally pur fucking purchasing something like this atrocity uh they relocated it to a lower shelf it was on the lowest shelf it's a kid's knife it's a fucking baby's toy oh no but when he uh, when he's like uh what what you mean this one you mean that one what the one with the american flag on the thing and I didn't realize I looked at them and they all had a all the packaging for every single one was an American flag. Yeah, man. Give the knife to kids. I don't care if it's got the fucking little little gummy tactical button, little uh, 360 quick scope. Hey, I'm a zoomer too, man. No, this is for the millennials. No, this is for the boomers playing millennials playing. I don't know. I guess they think the zoomers are into. What are the zoomers into nowadays? Fortnite? No. This is my uh, CSGO skin. This is the new CSGO lotto. You can uh, pick up this skin. This skin is called. Uh, What would be a funny name for this weapon? For this gun? I don't care if they start putting, uh, fucking laser dot scopes. I don't care if the fucking blade shoots out, <laughs> shoots out the fucking end. 
and they put him on a, the fucking in the kid's toy aisle buy a knife I didn't expect all the fucking all this shit and get locked out every time I try to use it what about uh you pick up a normal knife you hold by the blade here here's an instruction tutorial for people who don't know how to work knives you can flick them open even if they're not supposed to be flicked open if you hold the blade and flick the handle everybody knows that If you have a friend who uh, collects knives, start picking up his knives and just like opening them without asking. And just like don't shut them and shit and like. That's not how I got this knife. I bought this from the store. But I wouldn't if I were you.